Um, I am clearly wearing something on my face. It's kind of obvious. Um, it's not wax, which is what I originally had. I had, uh, you know, I'm going to show it because I want to warn people. This uh, Graftobian is utter shite. Don't buy this stuff. You're gonna regret it. I don't know why I'm advising you. I mean, I'm just posting this on my story journal. It's not like anybody else is out making costumes. But I'm dead serious. It's it's not fun stuff. And I've been using it for um I guess more than a month. Not quite two months, but it's just, it's, the way that they tell you to apply it is to use your hands and to sculpt it the way you would this, but you can't. Even at room temperature, it's completely gooey, as if it's been uh, melted a little bit. It's, it's not, um, it's not stuff you can touch if you don't want to have extremely sticky hands that require like, you know, heavy scrubbing with something. Um, but since I didn't have anything else, I used it anyway because what am I going to do when I needed pictures of Um uh, When I say need, I don't mean like I need them for something. I mean, I needed to dress up as him so I could be extremely dorky when I'm alone. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, so yeah, there's something on my face, which you've probably been staring at the whole time I've been talking about this, but this is a modeling clay, which it turns out you can use to make uh, a one-step prosthetic. Uh, this is not the prosthetic, this is just the clay, and it's only a rough draft, but um, basically, the technique is you buy modeling clay, the kind that would be, you would use to make something, um, little sculpture, you know what I'm talking about. Um, you buy the clay, you, um, you sculpt it into a facial feature that you desire, either on your face or probably on um, a model, which, you know, I have, I, this is Penny Apple. I could have used her, but her nose is kind of small. I don't really know what I'm going to do. I don't feel like I can sculpt it very well on my face because um, my nose is not completely rock solid. So when I start trying to sculpt down here, I'm pushing into my nostrils. <laughs> so it's kind of been a problem. Um, I, I want to smooth this thing out. As you can see, it's not at all smooth, especially not smooth around the outside. Which, um, it could just, it could, it could be a little bit thinner, I feel like. Um, it doesn't need to be ultra thin because what you do when, once you have the, the prosthetic is you um, use liquid latex to sort of stipple around the edges to make the really thin part and blend it in. But anyway, I totally forgot to explain the rest of how this prosthetic works. So you make the clay. And then um, you bake it. This is the kind of um, it's the kind of clay where if you put it in your oven for however whatever amount of time it it bakes and you, know, you don't need a special kind of oven. And then um, you take that and you um, you paint liquid latex over it, and um, then you have a prosthetic. You just have to apply spirit gum underneath, stick it on, and then, as I said, stipple around the edges with liquid latex so that you can't see that it's a prosthetic. Um, anyway, I'm really excited. I didn't seem excited when I started the video, but I, I actually am. I've just kind of worn it all out. I've already been excited away from the camera, but um, this stuff is super smooth. It's it, it's wonderful. It's everything you would want out of clay. Like, I'm probably going to do something else with it. I'm going to make a little finger. No, no, yet. Um, sculpt Billy's face. <laughs> you guys know about Billy? Well, the saw puppet I ever had an infatuation with him a few years ago. And I still adore him, so, you yeah. know.
Thank you, Sandy. Um, anyway, I'm really excited about it because it, it just, it's perfectly, it's so easy to use. It's not sticky at all. It, um, it completely smooths out. Although I'm having some trouble because I have such long nails that, um, my God, they they're so long that they end up poking into things a lot. But I'm trying. Like, you know, I've got it. <sighs> oh. Um, so, so yeah. I think it looks alright so far. Let's, you know, I'm working on it. I really want it to look exactly exactly like Mox Flake's prosthetic that he put on his nose. I wanted to have just the same arch everything. And um, I'm thinking that this actually will work out just fine to use for the ears as well. And I'm tired and I really want to eat dinner so I haven't done the ears yet but I probably will tomorrow or something. Um, I'll probably have to add on a lot more to my ears because Mr. Schleck's ears are just humongous. Um, they're they're not even just humongous. They're huge, and then they start bending outward. His natural ears, I mean. They they're he's very blessed. Um, only has to add tips to his. My God, I love that man so much. Um, anywho. That's pretty much all I need to say to you. Uh, there aren't really any other advancements to the costume besides me finding stuff to use with ear fuzz. It looks like his ear fuzz. It's, it's kind of crappy looking. But so was his. And I want it to look authentic. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, that's pretty much it. Much easier to do it this way than to write about it, I think. Especially with these, you know, because it's, it's kind of difficult. And for some reason, I just tried to speak that kind of look. I was doing it until it hurt me. Oh, you hurt me, Ellen. You don't have enough feelings to be hurt. Oh, that hurt more. Oh, that was bad. Anything else he says in our deep opinion to you? Why you don't give me a bake, Bob? Maybe the I want one. I'm so sore. But I know no one will give to me because I am a vampire. It's very distressing. You couldn't see me doing it. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, I've dorked myself out enough. Can't be doing this stuff in lunch doses. I want people to like me. It's too late. Goodbye!